Hey, welcome to Film Fan, my channel where I discuss movies, film, and all things film related. So if that is also your passion, then hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already, and the little notification bell so you know when I put up new content. This is a special episode of Film Fan, which it's a quick episode. I'm not doing a whole film thing here, but we are going to just be doing a quick dedication to the late, great Sir Thomas Sean Connery, who passed away on Friday. So... Just shout outs to uh, Sean Connery, one of the greatest, the actual first Bond, the definitive Bond for most people, for a lot of people, the definitive Bond, the first Bond, starting in 1962 with Dr. No and followed up with uh, Goldfinger, From Russia With Love, Goldfinger, Thunderball, I don't know the exact order, um, but uh, yeah, and such memorable roles in movies like The Untouchable, where's Untouchables, where he got his Oscar, um, Indiana Jones later on. Uh, he's just, you know, Ramirez in Highlander. So if you're a Highlander fan, you will always know Sean Connery as Ramirez in Highlander 1 and the forgettable Highlander 2. But nonetheless, so I thought it would be appropriate, apropos, if you will, to uh, serve a, a vodka martini tonight with the uh, appropriate uh, Smirnoff vodka and the Martini and Rossi dry vermouth, which I believe are the uh, Smirnoff's the official James Bond vodka, um, uh, even in the early film. So the first in Dr. No, he was served a vodka martini. I think the first one had a lime in it, and then later on, uh, it, the lemon twist. So that was a classic uh, vodka martini, and this is prior to Bond with the line about shaking and not stirring, which we all know a vodka martini should be stirred, but that's another discussion for another another night. Um, but yeah, so I'm just doing it the classic way. I'm not much of a vodka drinker or a martini drinker every now and then. Um, but in the honor of Sean Connery, we are doing this tonight. So hats off to Mr. Connery. I do a terrible Scottish accent, so I can't do it. Um, but hats off to him, the original Bond the unforgettable Bond uh, in a different time period. And uh, this is this is to him. For all the Bond fans out there, I will be getting to... Let me take a sip first. Oh, I'm toasting, but I'm not actually drinking. That's, isn't that like bad luck or something? It's bad luck. You're not drinking, right? No. Oh, my. That is rather good, isn't it? Anyway, at some point, I'll wind up doing Bond. I mean, it's inevitable for me to get to Bond. I'm a huge Bond fan, and I'm going to wind up getting to the Bond films. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it in some order or just talk about Ian Fleming, the novels, and get into the movies and how they relate and do a whole series, or if I'm just going to do one Bond film at a time. Uh, but eventually, I'll get to the Bond films. I just wanted to do this really fast because I thought it was uh, the right thing to do, and I just wanted to pay homage to this guy uh, who is just, you know, when I found out the news today, you know, the, you know, you get sad and it feels like, oh, it's tragic. And you see people saying, you know, it's like, oh, my oh, it's terrible. It's not really terrible. Let's be honest. He's he, he lived a full life. The man did his thing. He was 90 years old, relatively old. Um, you know, he's not 99 or something like that or 95, but 90 years old. He lived a full life. And from what I understand, he died peacefully in his uh, sleep. So uh, I, I think, you know, again, a celebration to a life well lived and to a man who defined a. Uh, a film role and did his thing while he was here. So shout out to that. Again, shout out to all the Bond fans, especially the Sean Connery fans. Here's to you all. Here's to Mr. Connery. Sir Connery. I'm sorry, did I call you Mr.? Sir Connery. Rest in peace. 007. If you're a Bond fan, let me know in the comments below who your favorite Bond is. If you're a huge Sean Connery fan, of course, let me know your favorite Sean Connery movie in the comments below. And as I said, at some point in this channel, I will be getting to the Bond films, and I really look forward to that. So until next time, remember something. If you love movies, watch the movies, even if it's an old movie, especially these old films from 1962. 64, the 60s with the early, with the first Sean Connery, go back and watch them because guess what? If you've never seen them, they're brand new to you. So you might as well go ahead and check them out. All right. Watch the movies, live the movies, love the movies, find yourself in the movies, lose yourself in the movies. You know the whole speech. I'm flubbing it, ain't I? But anyway, you know what I'm saying. Peace until the next time. Take care.